Okay, guys, so next up uh, <clears throat> for the polling, as you saw here, was uh, Litecoin to the dollar. Now, we've done this a couple of times here, and th so I'm glad we're coming back to, to revisit here. So, yeah, th so this is this is another tricky one, so I understand why the uh, request here to review this. Now, th what's interesting here, so there not there's just a couple of different ways we could count this, and so there's... So you you've seen uh, Sensei Hove and, and uh, Sensei Tutum have 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 both given you some some counts in here, and there, it, it, right now there's no way to be definitive about where we are. We we need some resolution here. We need to see if we're going to get a new high here. So that that will help. So what's making this tricky here is some of the fib relationships are are open to interpretation because it could be counted multiple ways as I've as I've described. So let's just review that and see here now. This this will be a tell if we get a new high here, but just just to work through it here. So there there is a, a, a count that can get us into a one wave here of a larger degree, but the the alternate here I think is worth looking at. So from from the low here it, with this as a proposed one wave. Well, one I get a little ABC. What do I do? I go right to the golden zone. Okay, so this would certainly have you, now look what happens here, right? right? Right to target, right? If you weren't sure, well, here's for good measure. We got it that, but this is tick to tick, right? That's golden zone to target, but to the tick. Okay, so we know what happens there. Look at the reaction. So at first glance, there's no question you'd be thinking one, two, but then we don't, we don't get enough for a three. So while yes, there is a there is a way to get a to get this as a one two well the one is I mean it's shit I had to post it f for you guys we did it as a chart challenge see who could get to a one wave here now that actually that that degree is too big here okay so if if this is one two well I can't eliminate the possibility that we go into yet another one two now here's what's making this difficult if I pull this up remember an algo does not give a shit about an Elliot an Elliot count look what happens here so if I go from this dominant swing low when we remember as I've shown you guys many many times this is the pattern that you got you got to take that one right so they, they love that ABC that alternating pivots well so here's 618 to the tick 618 to the tick now look look what happens here as we go up all right so you if you have any question about whether algorithms are in here first target reaction comes back down second target i mean these are damn near to the tick second second target reaction third target little reaction now we're going to get through that so that, i mean that that's about as technical as it can get now here's what's making this problematic so we we can pull from this knowing that there is a count that can get me to a one here even though i have this currently labeled Right, just to make this point here, I can go one down to my two low here. Where's the highest probability uh, location for a third is right here. So of this larger degree, do we have, is, of, the, of the larger count, is it one, two, three is in. We've done maybe a little sideways four and we're going up for the five. Well, sir, it's possible, but we, we got to deal with the subdivision to, to get more confident with that. And there is certainly a valid count here that would have us doing it a different way so because i can go one two and then yet again go one two now it's deeper and not as technical so if, th if this is the start of this one well you know we're breaking the seven eight six you know it doesn't invalidate now what the problem is the, the c wave here is very very skinny yes there is five there it's a little tougher to get it here uh, there, there is five in that C, but the symmetry is just horrible, just horrible. So you're, you're looking at, you're, you're looking at an A B C. God damn it, come here. Looks like this: A B tiny little C. That, that's that's what you're dealing with for an A B C. But you don't have a lot of uh, choice here, right? So it's there it, whether it's here or here. We, we these are these are not great. Oh, I suppose you might even make a case you got a truncated C that you went A, B, and you had a truncated C here. But then this was perfect golden zone, so I, I come back to this. So you got to get your, right, so you see the problem here. So you got to get an A, B, C out of that. Now I'm on a one hour here, so there's not that much more room to go start digging into that. So, but let's consider this alternate. So the alternate, because this, I can get a clear impulse here. You make a pretty strong case here that this is this is a third here. So let me get that degree up here so this is going to make sense. Okay, so if this is 1, 2, well, I can yet again go 1, 2. 
So that so this would have to go up to a larger degree to make this make sense. So let's take that up to intermediate here so we don't lose track. Okay, so that would imply 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I've got 1, 2 here. Now that, that's going to change my targets. So if I come back and use my, my same fib swing tool looking for that relationship. Okay, well now, well, so here's, right, interesting, look, so look here. Here's where we get, ah, shit, that's not what I want, I want this. Here's where we get, here's our high probability zone for a three of this degree. Well, it doesn't, doesn't quite work here because the impulse is here. So it looks like there's subdivision. Well, here's the 2618 up here. So if we're going to go, so here, this would be relative to that degree. If we're going to get up here, right, and here, note here where we are, if this is going to keep going and we're going to get back to the median line, of course, look how well that median line is contained. If we're going up here, well, that 2618, that would be an extreme for the third. So that, that's worth noting. If we get up there, then I'm going to feel better about this as a three if we're going to go up and do that. First, we got to get break this, this pivot here. So working backwards, if, that's, if that is the three of the larger degree, then I got to think about this as a scenario here. So, so how, can, how do I get three up here? So let's get this pushed off up here. Some of this, we'll just push this off. So we'd be looking for three, three here, four, maybe we're up for the five here, although I don't, I don't think that's, oh, pardon me, this would be the five. Right, right now, that's the candidate for the internal five because we haven't we haven't broken yet. I mean, it's looking good today, but we're not we're not there yet. That's just a, that's just a possibility here. We could just be going sideways here, but this certainly looks characteristic of a four. So if we're done here, what what have we what have we completed? So that would be my internal. Let me pull this off here so you can see it. I know it gets hard when you get this much on it. Okay, so let's let's look about let's look at the subdivision. So of the internal impulse, you'd be working this. One, two, three, four. Now something finished here. Okay, because we, we can see the beautiful impulse we get right here. So we finish something there. So what is that? Is that the three? Alright, so if if I work backwards, I, or I'm running out of choices, right? So if this is one, two, one, two, well, I can get my impulse into my third here. I can get kind of an ugly ABC here, and I have a very clear impulse here. So something completes up here. It's a question of what degree. So with that established as a contender here, can I go one, two, one, two? Well, noting that we've got this, so if this is going to keep going, we may have to rethink. So let, let, let's just let's say we get up here. Can, how does it work? How do I get there? Well, what what's happening here? One, two, three, four. Boy, that looks pretty solid, doesn't it? So what's the alternate? One, two, three, right? So you might be, then you're thinking this. So you might be looking at this as the three. This here is a, now we're not, we're not out of this yet, right? So I'm not, I'm not, I'm just, this is, let's pencil that in here. So how does that work? One, two, where's, where's your next one, two, right? It's a bit problematic. So let's pull this off here just so we can see in there a little bit better. This is so good. Well, you'd have to, so you'd have to, shit, you'd have to, let's see, let's see what that is. So you'd have to have an extension in the fifth. So this could play. So you could have, you could have the extension in the fifth. So this is solid as a, as the, as the three, four. So could this be a one, two? So with that established, you could be getting an extension. Here's the, and of course that is going to be a ridiculous degree. So let's get that. Let's go down to, uh, we'll go to some micro. Let's go to something you can see. Uh, let's go back to yellow. So can I, do I have an extension in the fifth? So one, two, well, it qualifies. So if this is one, two, three, now that I'm leaning into that as a three based on the, on the fib relationship here. So if that's the one and that's the two, well, here, here's the candidate for the three. We, we went, well, here we had a little, well, here was right, right to the tick, but it had a little kick in it. The ABC looks pretty solid. So I like this as my three, but I could have an extension in the fifth. So one, two, three, four, five. So still going up possibly, right? we're not there yet, but if this is going to be the four or, or the two, so it's one or the other, right? So if this is going to be the one, two, or that's the one, two, shit, maybe I have to, well, let's just look here. Maybe we have to 
get a little bit more in that. So maybe we're thinking we got to go A, B, C here. It's possible, right? So I mean, at some point, the, we we gotta we gotta call it something, All right? So this to, boy, it does look like it finished here, and th this does not look like a second. Although we could we can dig it out there. So let me get that degree down. Yeah, that's probably that's too big here. So let, let's take this one up, micro, and let's take this one down. Okay, so one two, yeah, maybe, maybe. How do we know? Well, first we got to we got to get through this pivot. So that's the kind of thing to put an alert on because we invalidate the the idea that we we peaked up here. So it's just process of elimination. So this looks fairly solid. Let's see. Is, if it keep so then then you got to think. Well, shit, man. What if it keeps going? Where are we if it keeps going? Well, so you might find yourself coming back into that. Let's think about it here. So. So the other possibility here is that we've got a bigger, that this is a three and this is the four. You can get, you can get the one here. You know, so th this is the, this is a reasonable alternate that we can't eliminate here. It's, it's the subdivision here because this, this is a clear impulse. And I don't think we're deep enough to give that a two. So, it, so let's just consider that. It's possible. So. You know, it's more probable to be a four here. And it, look here how we go right algo target again, as I've showed you. If this is the two, I think this was to the tick as well. So four here at the 38 algo target. So you can get the one, two, three, four, five of the third. So this, it certainly looks like we completed something here. So one, two, I suppose you could go <laughs> one, two again if you needed to. So I have an impulse here, but your your third would be shorter than your than your first. So until proven otherwise, I think you got to stay with this as a one, two, and then the bigger three is up here. All right. So we got to wait and see. Well, f you know, do we get to new highs? Then you got to back into it. Then you got to work backwards, saying, okay, well something is continuing on here. Do I have? Is it just an extension in the fifth? This doesn't look like a two. So you're kind of <clears throat> stuck there, waiting to get more information. <clears throat> so God damn it. <clears throat> so sorry. Never fails. As soon as I start recording. Okay. So th this would be your your dominant uh, at this degree. One, two, three, four. Two to the four is is solid. So here, if this is my three here, thirty eight, I'll go target. Now we're through. It's a tough one. Is it one two or or one two? Right. We just we just you can't be definitive about it until we get clarity here. Now if this starts to roll down, if we roll with this is a little false false break here and we start to come down, then that'll clarify things and we know something larger finished up here. Could be the three of this degree and the four is coming down here. But then you got to work through. Am I finished here? Well, per this count, yeah, that works perfectly. I can finish. I can finish the. So this I would need my fifth up here. So this would be the fifth here. This is just speculation. So I can get the, the, the five and the bigger three done here. So I'd have one, two, three, looking for the four, up for the five, right? So there's just no way to be, to be certain about it. So would I be a buyer here? No, I would not be a buyer here, right? You just, you're, you're right up into prior supply. There's just, there's no reason to be buying up here at these prior highs. That doesn't mean that it can't just scream higher. That's not what I'm saying. But in terms of put, putting together a trade with good probability, there's, you know, this is, you're just rolling dice here. You just, oh, I hope it keeps going. Well, you know, you look at your oscillators here. Well, RSI is hot. You've got divergence here, a little volume today. That's good to see. But there's, there's nothing there to say, oh, I, I feel solid about this little ABC. We're going higher number one, so first thing you're going to run into is you're going to get back into the median line. So is the risk reward enough there? Well, let's think about where we'd be looking for the four. If this, if this is going to start to come down on the assumption that we completed the larger three here, well, we can just, again, as we would with anything, if we've completed an, an impulse up here, so this would be our prime zone for the four, so we'd be anticipating some some sort of drop off here. So 
shit, you know, this, that, that's a, that's a crapshoot up there. There's nothing clear there other than we've got a range and we're going sideways, which looks much more like a four. So could this be the larger degree four? That seems unlikely, but possible. Shit, we'd be, we're not even to the 23, right? So this would be uncharacteristically shallow if we're playing this as a four. Now we might get a little more complexity here. We've got a triple top. Well, it's slightly broken here, but essentially you've just got you're just going sideways. You got you got this range. Now a little little poke through here is you know potentially to p potentially a good sign to see if we're going to go up here and finish this five here, and then this all gets moved over. Then we're still looking for that three, four, five up here. Still looking for the four. This would get pulled up here. Then we're looking for it down here. Somewhere in this range, let me get this one off. So it's just just not not enough to, to lean into a trade there. We gotta see how this resolves because that will affect what you're anticipating next. I mean it's just it's a good case here that, that we've gone that we've gone one, two, one, two, and of course the other the other alternate being that we've got one two, this was the three. I, I recognize this is very valid. Here's the four. We don't overlap the one and we've gone up and the big five is in. All right, th that, that's the big five. Well, if that's the case, right, which I recognize perfectly valid, right? Not, all the subdivision works, it's all good. What are we doing here? A? It doesn't, doesn't look, you know, just shit. I would just do this. I would put pivots on, I'd put alarms on both of those lines, which way are we breaking? That will be the tell. Otherwise, there's just nothing to do here. If you're currently long, no reason to get out. If you're, cur if you're currently short, well, do you want to carry it beyond that pivot? I, I wouldn't be a buyer here. I wouldn't be a seller. I just, I'm just waiting for more information to see which of these counts is going to play out. Without, until we get more information to give us that tell, there's just no way to know. So you got to hurry up and wait, right? You don't you don't need to be in the market all the time. Wait, pitch. You know, I, you know I just use sports metaphor. Choose, wait for your pitch, right? So wait for something. You say, ah, now I have good confidence here. I know where we are. The subdivision all plays. I understand where we are. Maybe there's some market geometry. I've got an algo pull. Where can I get? You know, yeah. Where's the algo here for you? All right? Do you have Do you have anything here? Did we get? That could be. We get right on it. Okay, so we've tagged the 50 twice. So hard, hard to anticipate anything other than that. If we go up there, then something else is happening. All right, so is this the three? All right, so we know an algorithm is likely a buyer there. Dominant swing. Swing low, swing high. Double tap on the 50. You know, I... If anything, I well, you're late for the buy there. So, but you, you don't have enough juice there. There's not enough room. Maybe we go second target. Maybe, maybe we roll over. Right? So it's just a crapshoot here. So I just wait. Let's see. Can we break that that pivot? I'd wait for that. If we break that, let's get out of this range. Then we reevaluate. Until then, this is just no way to know. All right, guys. That's it for now.